So I am in navigation. Where shall I, we go? Yeah. When you look at navigation, there are a couple of nodes that are still blue and blinking instead yes. of being white and not blinking. And all those you have not played yet. And for all those blue blinking nodes, you will get mastery rank experience. Ooh. It's a and, um, lit get experience for the weapons you play anyway. It's Lith and Cedus. Right. Yeah, Cedus is, is a little special thing because Cedus is the additional open world region they brought to a Warframe. So we will tackle that a little bit later. Maybe go with Lith first. Let's see what is Lith. Mission it's defense. It's a defense. Yeah. Yeah. Grenier. So just start that. Here we go. I will be asked and I will accept. Woohoo. This is just a, um, a mission where you have to defend, in most cases, a cryogenic pod. I over the course of five minutes and you can play the mission endlessly where the waves of enemies become stronger with each with each wave and you can play it in increments of five minutes so you can play five ten the fifteen twenty and so on and so on i feel much more confidence with you here until reinforcements arrive. when you find any resource containers open it you can uh, do this always by uh, pressing e E is a quick melee attack. Yeah. I was well, doing that on no, everything. Nothing here. But you don't have to do anything yeah. to grab it. You just hit it, right? Yeah, you have to run over it. Oh, you don't okay. have to collect it manually. Except a couple of things. They will drop, and you have to collect them manually. Most likely, Ember and Cyan, Ayat and Stars are the little blinking things that drop on the floor. They make a sound when they drop, a little chime. And you have to pick those up. So we just have... Now the enemies come and we defeat them. Right now we have nothing but all our weapon power, so we just shoot at everything. Okay. Or or hit everything with your. I get it. Power. I was gonna say I've been here before, but it's a different mission here. Yeah, it's a different mission. It was the quest before, and now it's the regular defense mission. Woo! Every kind of mission. For every mission gives you different um, rewards. And the missions are tiered in ways like this is the tier 0 defense mission on Earth. Is it better? And it goes up to tier 3 or 4. Is it better four. Is it better to charge your weapon or does it matter? No. No, no, no. Okay. Do it. Don't do it. Just you just okay. use up um, energy of your Warframe, which you better use for the abilities of your Warframe. And not to charge your melee weapon. You can, if you want to play melee anyway, you can continuously switch to your melee weapon by pressing and holding F until you have your melee weapon in hand. Uh, and that way you don't have to do the quick melee attack. You have now also access to um, combos. But unless we have the proper mod installed in the weapon, combos are not available yet. We cleared it. We're done? Yeah. Oh, that was easy. No. Uh, top left corner below the map, defend the target wave. Two. Oh. We have to do it for five waves. Oh, I see. First, that was the easy wave. <laughs> Grandlix went to the open world mission and didn't know what to do and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. Nobody tells you uh -oh, what a, to do the bomb, or why. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, will hurt the cryopod. It's not that important. That is really the biggest flaw in Warframe because it is oh. a growing game. It grew over five years and the developer tested so many different things and introduced so many different game mods and play styles that you barely know where you are when you start a new player. And there's too much content. You can't handle all the content. Yeah. It was confusing. Yeah. And it will be for, for a time. I couldn't even get out of the foundry. <laughs> if you remember that one ages ago. It took me forever that I could run through that stupid vent. 
Yeah. It's like, how am I supposed to get out of here? Yeah, that was definitely. <laughs> well, that is just uh, basic game logic, right? Right. Uh, but... Good against Wagner, like you just figure it out over time. Well, uh, finally, I was like, oh, that one's not spinning, der. <laughs> Who's hitting me? <laughs> Where yeah, that's more the from? obvious thing, like finding uh, enemies, most likely. Most likely. Oh, that was you. <laughs> it's like finding a secret entrance. No, I can't hit you. Oh, PvP I... is not enabled. Good. So I, just... I ranked up my uh, Paris for to level 12. So I played this character a little bit more than you played yours. Yeah. But the more you use a weapon, the more you level it up. And experience will always spread among all things you carry. Right. So if you have the frame, obviously, but because you can't play without one, um, and you have a primary, secondary weapon, and melee weapon, they will all share the experience you receive. So if you want to level something specifically, specifically, you have to put away the other things. So let's just say you get a new primary weapon and you want to level it up faster. You will put away your melee and secondary weapon. So you only carry your primary and that way it receives more of the shared XP. Make sense? Yes. Good. Kind of. I, I catch half of it because I'm trying to... You, you could calmly get all these guys and I'm sitting here intense and paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you know what uh, I mean? Said, I'm stuck to unlock the Venus mission with the apply four things to a part. The apply four things to a part was just what, what we did or what we tried with fusing the mod, endo two mods. And you have um, you have to do that. Oh, I'm out of ammunition. Oh no, you mean apply four different mods. You find mods just throughout missions. They drop everywhere. You don't have to do specific specific missions. Just do any mission, and enemies will drop mods. Oh, Here, that was one, for example. Thunderbus. That was a mod. You don't have to go anywhere specific. Just do any mission you want, and receive mods. No problem. Whoops. Woo! Who's getting me? Where's Whoa! The enemies? I just jumped off. <laughs> I'm way down here now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can come up again. Open door. That door won't open. Just the ones with the green button in front of it will yeah. open. Oh, can I off die here? You died? No, I oh. didn't, but I will. Soon. Uh, well, where is the oh, hell? Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Almost done. There was the next wave, last one. Uh, fifth, last one. Woo! I like just doing the double jumps. Flip. Yeah. Oh, there is so much to the movement system yeah, we will encounter. Pretty fun. You can dodge and roll and pull a jump and double jump and propel you up in the air and smash down with a melee weapon. Although I would rather do, uh, don't um, pay too much attention to the melee system because that is about to change. Oh, we are right. about to receive melee 3.0. And that will change the way you handle melee weapons immensely. So don't pay too much attention to stuff like combos, which are, like I said, not yet available. Because we're missing out on mods for that. Hmm. It's weird they're going to make a change uh, already, right? <laughs> or not already, well, yeah, but after all this time, all you're, the time yeah. you're used to it. And there it comes to it. They... Like I said, the game is four, five years old, and they change things yeah. all the time. It is melee 3.0 that's coming. So there was a 1.0 and a 2.0. <laughs> Hell it's already yeah. already at 2. So it changes all the time. Yeah, Kranlix, you were most likely very, very unlucky. Uh, 
Bro, maybe you, you did something wrong in terms of missions. They will drop Extraction every single time. Ready. Okay. Ooh. Now, you when you see the down below, there is the reward we got. A Lith H2 relic. Mm -hmm. We can extract now. Okay, extract. So we don't fight anymore. Yep. I don't want to fight to fight more. And then Very we have to... Tenno. You held them all back. Time to get out of here. Yes. Now you can okay. see the weapons and all the level you got. So if you leveled up, you see the amount of XP you got for each thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you got a level up. We, oh, it's not a level up. What sure. level do you have on the Mark 1 Paris? Mark 1 Paris. Uh, well, I have 3,800 XP plus 4,800 No, bonus. the rank. Yeah, uh, What's rank the rank? 6. Rank 6. 6 is good. So we can upgrade Serration one more. Oh, okay. And you can still fit it in. Because uh, rank 6 means you have a capacity of 6. Oh, okay. And the uh, fully upgraded Serration has only 5, so it fits in. Everything's 6 except my Excalibur is 5 and my Lato is 5. Ooh, my Exalted Blade is 7. Yeah. Oh, despite the fact you didn't use it. I assume you didn't use it. Oh, Did I... you press 4 at any time? Ooh, I use E all the time. Is that my Exalted Blade, right? No, that is just your scanner, the, the oh. melee weapon you carry on the back. Oh, yeah, I never The Exalted before. Blade yep. for Excalibur, you have this Exalted Weapons. A couple of frames do have Exalted Weapons, and that is some sort of energy weapon inherited in your frame. Mm. And you have Operative. four abilities of your frame. You can press one, two, three, four. When it's unlocked, it will unlock with rank. Oh. Where uh, for your frame, the level one ability, I think, is called Dash. You will dash with your melee weapon towards the direction you look at and hit enemies if they are in your way. Mm. Then you have your two ability, which will blind the enemies surrounding you, huh. which is some sort of a crowd control um, ability. Your three is a area of effect damaging ability called Javelin, which um, hits the enemy surrounding you with energy javelins and your fourth ability is your exalted blade so excalibur will put uh, energy blade out of his frame and handle that as his melee weapons and it will hit melee and throw the blade i have never used that i've no, never and used I, one you two, don't three, have four. even unlocked it i think oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't yeah, i don't think it unlocks at level five. Oh, okay so I should go to mods uh, and... Uh, yeah, go to mods, upgrade Serration one more time. Where is Serration? Serration. There it is. That is the next requirement you needed for the Venus Junction, Sorry. which is... Oh, wait. Stop recording. Which is um, apply... Upgrade any mod to rank 2 or higher. Oh, you had it already at rank 2. So it's fine. Uh, so I add... I only have one more. Yep. Okay. Apply fusion. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Done. Then go to your arsenal. Uh, okay. That's that your chamber. Mods is impressive, operator. But chamber. Oh yeah, whatever it is. The thing where you stand it like the Borg. <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, or a, a beaming platform. Yeah, that's yeah. also very similar. And what do I upgrade now? Um, you said your Excalibur does have what rank now? Five. So go to upgrade and see if you have capacity left in the top left. Top left. Well, there's no number. Oh, one of five. So one. one. Uh, we don't have any with one. So we need to upgrade Excalibur one more time. Oh, that is too loud. Hmm. That's better. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? I have to just fight. Yeah, we have to do missions and upgrade it more. So we can fit in four mods which is another requirement for entering Venus. But we have a couple of missions left anyway. Okay. So don't you worry about that. When you press escape once, and instead of upgrade, choosing abilities, you have an overview of the abilities of your Warframe. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, you can see the, the dash, um, the blind, or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. radial, radial, um, uh, yep, radial, radial, blind. radial blind, yeah. Then you have the javelin, and the last thing is the Exalted Blade. And you can see at which rank it's un it unlocks. Right, 10. For yeah, Exalted, so, and then, yeah, 7, 
12, yeah. 16, 10. So in order to, to do that, you need to um, to reach rank 10 with your Warframe. Yeah. And then you can use uh, Exalted Plate, which is one of the most powerful abilities early on in the game. Well, not even early on in the game. It's one of the most powerful melee abilities full stop. Ooh, I've seen you do the slash dash, though. I remember seeing you do that, I think. Well, I'm not even playing the same frame, so no. No, when <laughs> I watched... frame has when different I, abilities. What, oh, I swear I saw somebody do that when I was watching your stream. Anyway, slash... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, can, can, can be, yeah. Slash dash is seven, anyway. So I'm almost there. Uh, yeah, the next rank. Yeah. It's already available to you. It will, But it will also rank up the higher your Warframe is. Oh, right. So for right now, you have a certain distance you will travel and a certain amount of energy it will consume and a certain amount of damage it does when it hits things. Right, makes sense. And this is most likely rank one of that ability. And the ability itself will rank up the more level your Warframe has. Mm -hmm. makes sense. So further down the road, it will afflict more damage. It will travel further. And all these things can be enhanced by the mods. Play another level. What do you think? Cool. Yeah. Uh, and by level, I mean mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we're playing Mario Brothers. But then we only have the one blinking one. We could either Venus Junction or Cetus. No, Venus Junction is not yet possible. Oh. The rest of them are not blinking. Cambria, Gaia. No. None of those? No. But you have the ones... Um, Behind Everest, for example. Cervantes, Koba. Everest, Cervantes, Koba. Or are they just locked? Oh, yeah, they're locked. Well, they have dash delays. They're locked because of, yeah, because of Plains of Eidolon. Okay, so then we rather go to Cetus. Okay. Which is, it just says dawn. Time of day. Yeah. Here we go. Sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> I have to pick something. Oh, is there it's yeah you see servers, how huh? busy well because that is an open world region oh, where you have other players i see just just pick a calm one okay this but it's not so see no it's not pvp there is a pvp mode in the game but nobody plays it because it's shit. <laughs> Yeah, the the, Warf the the way Warframes work, they are way too unbalanced for PvP. Oh, but watch right. the video instead. Yeah, cutscene. The little girl was, ex was Excalibur with his Exalted Plate. <laughs> I mean, that girl who's all bloody. That woman. Oh no, that was a butcher. Oh, butcher. The thing you saw flying in. Oh, is that a big hunk of meat? Here. Yeah, it's a big hunk of meat. Oh, gross. Well, they don't butcher animals for it, they grow their meat. What oh, meat? really? Yeah, it's nice. See there on the left, there it is. When you go over to there, you will actually can watch them do their thing. Am I in control? Yeah, I'm in control. When you come over here, you can see it. There's the meat. Oh. Gross. See? Yeah. <laughs> Can I keep growing meat? Oh, look at that. Oh, what'd you just do? You just flew, didn't you? No, that wasn't me. I'm here. I'm just 
just here. Oh, somebody flew another. a butt. Oh, that's another player. Yeah. Oh, because we're in the... We can, we can just enter the city over here. There's also always the possibility to fast travel. When you press escape, you can select fast travel and then travel to certain points of interest. But for now, we can just enter it like this. Oh, by the way, how's performance for you? I'm hosting, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm hosting. Oh, you're ho Oh, that's I right. I invited you. Yeah. That's right. So your performance must be a little bit worse. We, we should change that in a minute. It seemed all right. It's it seemed fine. Better you have the info. Okay. I didn't notice anything fighting those uh, dudes. Oh, good. So this is different station. It's, it's like a market. When you go to the left side, there is a trader for ores and for fish. You can mine and fish in the plains. When you go here to the right, Yes, over here. Here's a trader for. What does he trade for, actually? Oh, right. You can you can um, modify pets. You can have pets down the road. Looks like a caracal. Do you seek to enhance your beasts? Yeah. At this station here, over here, you can uh, forge your own melee weapons. When you gather standing with the with the factions here on Cetus, you can purchase. Parts for melee weapons, and you can build your own melee weapons called Zaws. Huh. And then a little bit further, where you have the big exit towards the Plains of Eidolon, the big door there in the background, that's behind that is the Plains of Eidolon. Do you actually use this market and upgrade and stuff? Uh, the Zaws, for example, yeah, sure. And also the, the Fisher and the... If you want to progress in the Plains, you, you need to do it. Oh, okay. So over there is the exit to the Plains of Eidolon, and here to the right, there's this dude, um, Konzu. And Konzu is your employer here. <laughs> oh. He will give you bounties and such. That's why everybody's we will here. Actually, we will actually do a bounty, because that will unlock a quest we can do. Okay. So you can look at that. There's Ostron standing. Ostron is the faction we have here. Mm -hmm. and by playing missions on the Plains of Eidolon, you will get standing with them. And you can also trade in ores and fish to get additional standing with this faction. But for now, we are interested in bounties. Okay. So when you click on bounties, you see, first of all... Oh, no, the... the no, it's fine. Okay. The top first, the first one. Prove yourself. Prototype Sabaton. Mine's Prove Yourself. Yep. Oh, so you have a different one. I already did the first yeah. one. Then. Yeah, sure. Mine's Prove Your Ability. Show Kuzu what you're made, capable of. Okay. One more off the docket. Chosen. Okay. Good. Accept it. And we will start the mission on the Plains of Eidolon. Will it transport us there? Well, this is... Come again? Will it transport us there or we have to walk there? No, we have to leave. We have to leave through the gate. Where'd you go? It will open after a while. Oh, up here. Yeah, the big, big, big blue gate. It will open. And then there's another gate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Frozen. I'm freezing. No, it's okay. It's okay. It will load a lot of things. <laughs> I made the mistake. Now we can leave towards the plane spider. I made the mistake of doing a roll through there. I don't think it liked that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're not yet here yet, but we have to load it. There it goes. The planes of Eidolon. So you now you have the Lotus. Uh, she will talk to you and says what your mission is. Sometimes Konzu will talk to you as well. And when you look at your HUD, there's a little yellow marker appeared. Yep. 260 meters over there. And below your map, there's the next step you need to do. Elim eliminate nearby enemies. Oh, okay. So we have to go over there and eliminate nearby enemies. Maybe a little... A little HUD knowledge. When you look at your HUD, uh -huh. like I said, in the top left corner, there's your minimap. Yep. You can open the larger version by pressing M. Oh, look at that. You can open an opaque version of that by holding M. Oh, okay. When you go back to your regular HUD, 
in the top right corner, you see the blue number, which is your shield, and the red number, which is your health. Oh, okay, yep. And sometimes there are additional effects left of that. So every effect you...